you know what they say, you either die a hero or you live long enough to become a villain. And unfortunately, I feel like that's the case with Dave Chappelle. And I say that as a gigantic Dave Chappelle fan, a former Dave Chappelle fan. I grew up with Chappelle show. He was my favorite comedian, favorite celebrity, period. I basically worshipped him. I was, I was a simp. I was a stan. I loved it. Me and my friends loved it. I've seen every single episode, every single stand-up special. He introduced me to hip-hop artists that I hadn't previously known about, Talib Kweli, Most Def. I loved Dave Chappelle. But I noticed that as he grows older, becomes wealthier, he gets more and more out of touch and elitist. And that's starting to be reflected in his comedy. I mean, he was always edgy. He always was intentionally offensive. But there's a difference between, uh, you know, being offensive and edgy and crossing the line while punching up and being edgy and offensive and punching down at people who are marginalized and in a pretty bad state. So this headline from Mediaite says a lot. We'll dive into the article, but this is what they say. Dave Chappelle says he's team turf. Defends J.K. Rowling and the baby in latest special. Quote, gender is a fact. First of all, I don't know what that means. Gender is a fact. Gender is a social construct. There's a difference between sex and gender. So right off the bat, by him making that statement, you can tell that he's ignorant. He's uninformed. We are the ones who created gender. I mean, look at the gender reveal parties, right? Uh, we dictate that anyone who's born uh, with a vagina should be wearing pink. They should act feminine. They should wear dresses. They should have long hair. Anyone who's born with a penis should act masculine, uh, like the color blue, uh, be a certain way. These are traits that we ascribe to people before they're even born. That's what gender is. It's a social construct. It's different than what is between your legs. So for him to say gender is a fact, yeah, I mean, gender exists. That's a fact. But gender ultimately is a social construct. And gender is what we as a culture say that it is. So he doesn't even understand the basic difference between sex and gender. That's apparent through this. And immediately before we get into the article, I know people are going to say, well, look, I mean, it's it's a comedy bit. He's just a comedian. Why are people so easily offended? Well, look, it's easy for you to say that if you don't have any skin in the game. It's easy for you to say that if you don't have someone in your family who's trans or you're not trans yourself. Trans people are under assault in this country. Culturally, legislatively, in this year alone, there have been dozens of bills introduced in legislatures across the country targeting trans youth. Black trans women are susceptible to murder. This is a huge issue. So for him to attack trans people and for people to react to the backlash by dismissing it, I mean, you would feel differently if you knew someone who is transgender. I'll just say that. But let's get to the article here. So Leah Idlibby of Mediaite writes, Dave Chappelle has declared himself Team Turf, the acronym for Trans Exclusionary Radical Feminist. On Tuesday, the comedian dropped The Closer, his sixth stand-up special for Netflix, in which he declared gender is a fact, adding, every human being in this room, every human being on Earth, had to pass through the legs of a woman to be on Earth. That is a fact. Chappelle unable to differentiate between sex and gender, as the former refers to biology while the latter is attached to one's identity, went on to make explicit jokes about the anatomy of transgender women comparing their genitals to vegan burger substitutes. The comedian additionally showed his support for J.K. Rowling, defending her against being canceled for multiple transphobic remarks, which led people to identify her as a turf. I'm team turf, Chappelle exclaimed. I agree. I agree, man. Gender is a fact. After telling a joke at the expense of the transgender community, Chappelle vowed that he was done telling LGBTQ plus jokes until he was sure that they were laughing together. Yeah, and that's some inside insight there. He knows that LGBTQ plus people aren't laughing with him. He's laughing at them. He's making jokes at their expense. And that's not to say that you can't joke about trans issues and LGBTQ plus issues, but I don't really want to hear a cis person make transgender jokes in the same way that I don't want to hear a white dude make black jokes. Trans jokes can be hilarious. Gay jokes can be hilarious, but they're best told 
from people from that community. And perhaps a straight person can make a gay joke if they put it in context, if there's understanding of the history of discrimination and bigotry. But, I mean, it depends, right? There's, there's nuance. But this isn't a case of I'm laughing at transgender people, but I also have an understanding of their community and the suffering that they're going through and the marginalization that they experience. It's just I'm laughing at them and they're silly. It's just being a dick. It's it's punching down. This isn't this isn't funny. This is maybe funny to some people, but that doesn't make it any less insensitive. And when I hear him double down here, this is kind of the sense that I get. This is all speculative, but this is my impression. So I watched his last special, and that's when he made transgender jokes. And they weren't even original jokes. I think he literally, if I'm remembering correctly, made a variation of the I identify as an Apache attack helicopter joke. I think he said, oh, well, if you can identify as anything, I identify as Chinese. It's the same fucking joke. And we've heard it time and again. And I think that he knew about the pushback and the criticism that he received. And rather than trying to be introspective, he chose to double down, become more hardline in his transphobic beliefs. That's what they are. That's that's transphobia. That's how it manifests. And it's it's really sad, but when he associates himself with Joe Rogan, who's explicitly transphobic, with Elon Musk, I mean, we saw that photograph. Like, these are the folks who he's associated with, these edgelords who are stupid, they're elitist, they're out of touch. I mean, you could see how his worldview is getting skewed. He went from an edgy outsider to someone who's saying the same shit. Oh, these comedians are getting canceled. We can't even tell jokes. Uh, can you, though? Because you're telling these jokes. J.K. Rowling is canceled, but is she, though? She's still publishing books. She's still a multimillionaire. Uh, I just feel like cancel culture doesn't really have that much of an impact. Really, what we're seeing is accountability. We're seeing criticism. And perhaps some people do get permanently canceled. But oftentimes, when we do see permanent cancellations, it's usually warranted. I think that everyone can agree it's good that Harvey Weinstein was canceled or R. Kelly was canceled. But when it comes to criticism, pushback when transgender people are dying when trans youth are being homeless, when they're kicked out of their homes by their parents who reject them, I, I, I it, it's just, yeah, it, it doesn't land well with me. Now, getting to the second part when it comes to the baby, here's what he says. In addition to his defense of Rowling, Chappelle addressed the LGBTQ community directly, jokingly asking to negotiate the release of the baby, a rapper condemned for making homophobic comments during his Rolling Loud Miami set. Part of the LGBTQ plus community doesn't know the baby's history, Chappelle said. He once shot 19-year-old Jalen Craig and killed him in Walmart. This is true. The baby shot and killed a man in Walmart in North Carolina. Nothing bad happened to his career. He added, do you see where I'm going with this? In our country, you can can shoot and kill a man, but you better not hurt a gay person's feelings. So first of all, I don't think anyone disagrees with the notion that murder is more morally egregious than homophobia. Obviously, who, who's going to disagree with that? But his statement there feels contradictory because on one hand, he says, I want to negotiate with LGBTQ plus people to uncancel the baby. But then he's like, well, the baby really should be canceled because he killed someone. So do you want him canceled or do you want him uncanceled? And I get the point that he's trying to make. He's trying to make it uh, apparent that this is kind of a weird standard that we have as a society where we can give someone a pass for murder, uh, but not homophobia. And I don't really even understand what the baby's point was with those comments. But if he did indeed murder someone, yeah, probably should be canceled. Yeah, that's I, I, I just feel like that's not controversial. Um, maybe people didn't know about it. I just, I don't know. But overall, uh, even if he's making a valid point about mm, he really should have been canceled for murder, the subtext is that gay people are so unreasonable. Gay people are basically authoritarian. They're like the mafia. You say anything about them and they come for you. Is that really the case, though? You're not being threatened. You're just getting criticism. I mean, Dave Chappelle made transphobic jokes last time. And he's still got a Netflix special. Everything is still okay. It's all copacetic. You're still a multimillionaire. So I just don't understand what, what specifically do you expect? Do you want zero criticism? Because in comedy, Dave Chappelle, of all people, should understand that it is inherently controversial. Comedy lands 
differently depending on the person, depending on their sense of humor, depending on their predispositions. So, I mean, you should expect criticism whenever you put out a comedy special. I don't think there's any comedy that is going to be super milk toast that doesn't offend at least someone. So I, I just, I don't know what his expectations are. If you criticize gay people, if you make an LGBTQ uh, negative joke, if you make a joke at the expense of trans people, do you expect them to just shut up and take it when their community is under assault? I just don't know what the expectation is. I, d I don't know what he wants. Um, and I do want to share a couple of tweets because I think they do a really good job at putting things into perspective. So Eve Six, the band, actually tweeted this out. Dave Chappelle says Twitter isn't a real place and he's right. The real places are the alleys and underpasses where trans people on the margins are murdered because of societal prejudice that he is lazily defending under the pretense of intellectual bravery. Would love for these multimillionaire turfs to walk a day in those shoes and see how brave they feel. Exactly. A. Reed Ross writes, one of the most famous people in the world basically said he hates trans folks in his big comedy special and conservatives are still like woke censorship is worse than the spanish inquisition should be pretty obvious who's being put down and it's not the millionaire comedian and finally robin tran shared a screenshot from the special where he says that he met caitlin jenner thinks that she's a wonderful person and she writes he should be canceled just for this to be honest point taken because yeah caitlin jenner is a piece of shit but um, I don't know if it's that his worldview is shaped by Caitlyn Jenner, who's a pretty out of touch elite herself. Uh, I don't know what it is, but my guess is that he wasn't anticipating the blowback that he got from that last special. And it kind of took him off guard, so he chose to double down, and that kind of built up his perception. I don't know, but this is really, this is disappointing. As someone who is a longtime fan of, of Dave Chappelle, this is heartbreaking to see. Nobody wants to see one of their idols go to the dark side, start punching down, but it's, it's, um, it's shitty. It's, it's sad to see. And he might think that he's saying something that's honest or he's just being factual, but you're not. You're actually wrong and you're ignorant and this is not going to age well. I mean, ask Eddie Murphy how well his old stand-ups where he made homophobic jokes aged well. He wasn't canceled, by the way, for that, but it just didn't age well. If you watch it now, it's it's difficult to watch, especially if you're a gay person. So, uh, I mean, look, he has already chosen that this is his lane. He feels strongly about this because when you're a millionaire, you have to make mountains out of molehills. You have to try to find some way to feel persecuted. I don't know what it is. I won't try to psychoanalyze him, but this is wrong. And I don't care if you're a fan of Dave Chappelle and you come here and you dislike this video and you call me an SJW. What's wrong is wrong. This is wrong. And I'm going to call it out.